This is the aftermarket report with Vegas and Jim, October 30th, 2018. And I'm going to turn this right over to Vegas. Hi, everyone, and good afternoon. You guys had uh, some profits today with the market. It's been a little bit tougher to uh, find some good setups. Can't just trade everything that uh, pops. I have to tr find some good setups. So today I want to talk about Facebook, DXR, TRPX, Zynga, and LMFA. So right off the top of this list, let's talk about Facebook. Now, Facebook had earnings today after hours, and everybody was anticipating some sort of drama on the stock. And uh, I'm going to turn it over to Jim here because uh, he knows Facebook quite well. And uh, he actually called the bottom. So go yep. ahead, Jim. So we got right here on Facebook looking at the year's chart. I noticed yesterday that we hit the bottom there. We hit the year bottom. And that was right around 139. So then today we come in, and I'm sitting looking at this is a year's chart, so we're at a year low. You see where the 50-day is right here. We're at 161, and you got the 200 and the uh, 100 right here at 177. So let's bring this down to a 5-day, 15-5-minute. We notice it's been kind of going down here since the last five days. Then we're going to pull up a day's chart. And I always say right after hours, if, if you don't have any time to trade in the daytime, it's always good to come in after hours and try to catch these knives that are off, off earnings. Well, I'm seeing we're hit a low support right here around 139. But, yeah, I was talking in the room earlier around 141 because it looked like we hit like a little bottom here a couple of times. So as the stock rose up, I figured we'd come back down here and hit that same at 141 again. And we did. Right when earnings came out, it jumped up and dipped right back down. So that would have been a good, and it did consolidate. As I magnify this up a little bit, you see we kind of consolidated right here around little around 130, around 140. So you had plenty of time to get in there at 141. Take it up here right now to around 148 and go ahead and get out. There's your seven dollar trade. So this is Facebook, and there you go, Vegas. Next. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Gucci was just I'm a little guard dog here. Yep. Uh, so the next one was uh, DXR for Daxor Corporation, and that one had news today that um, you know they're a, co a company that's involved in blood volume measurement. Very interesting company. And uh, they actually had a study that was released uh, where there was good news for patients that receive treatment for acute heart failure guided by blood volume measurement. And um, looks like the study was positive. And the information was published in the Journal of the American College of Cardiology. And it showed that heart failure showed 86% reduction and one-year mortality. So that's actually really good news. So as a result, the stock actually had some action. And boy, Jim seriously traded <laughs> the heck out of this one. I mean, I, I got to tell you guys, if you like scalping stock, Jim's your guy. You got to come in the room and see this guy in action. I mean, he traded this so many times. And this ran as high as uh, 939 today. But I'm going to let Jim talk about Tell us what he thinks about it and also talk about what he sees maybe going on for tomorrow on this one. All right. Well, this is DXR. We watched it all day today. It was called in the room by one of our guests and or one of our members. And so I was kind of late to the plate on this one. So I got in at the pullback, run it up a little bit and played it. And then on the way down here in this channel, I flipped it a couple of times. Then we started... I mean, this was just a knowing to them beautiful share rotation, low float stocks that you can sit there and play all day long. And you know that the momentum on it is going upward. So this is DXR. I got in it many a times. We, we There was a couple times where we got in here right 
off the 50 SMA and then when it pulled back here to the 200 a couple of times I noticed a good entry jumped in them and run them up to about 40 cents but this was one I could get in and get right back out then there was one time where I got stuck in it got kind of a little bit complacent in the trade and it was somewhere up in here and I run it up a little bit then it pulled all the way back so I, it, once I hit that 200 I felt confident and I run it back up I noticed the tape and right here at close 890 was my last trade we pulled back kind of bounced up off that low a little bit earlier off that 100 SMA so here we are at 865 and that's DXR keep it on watch for tomorrow okay so next one is TRPX love this company and I know they say don't fall in love with the stock but the thing is I just love what this company does they're an Israeli company and uh, you guys know I love Israeli tickers I love Israeli technology and uh, very powerful um, this company here is involved in cannabinoid uh, pharmaceuticals and uh, they're currently developing different FDA approved cannabinoid treatments for Tourette's also for sleep apnea treatment of pain and traumatic brain injury so they have a lot of treatments going on um, that are in actual um, studies so they have right now four different uh, drugs in the pipeline but what's really interesting is this a Toronto company okay under the ticker FSDDF for FSD Pharma is uh, currently um, going to have a deal where they're going to take over they have a binding letter of intent to actually acquire this Israeli ticker who is the developer of the cannabinoid based treatments now FSD currently has an office in Ontario and what's really intriguing with this company is that they are going to open up a location by the end of January uh, 2019 220,000 square foot and the facility sits on uh, 72 acres of land with of prime development and an expansion of 3.89 square feet so this is massive so this stock right now many people have on a swing trade and uh, there's a lot of due diligence involved I could talk about it for a good half an hour but uh, just probably bore some people so I'm going to attach in our video information section there is a video that you can watch it's about five minutes long and it really just talks about the uh, binding letter of intent that FSD is going to acquire the NASDAQ listed ticker uh, TRPX so I'll attach that for everybody all right TRPX we'll take a good look at it right here we're gonna pull up years chart first and this is a year daily I have the 100 the 50 the 100 and the 200 SMA so that's kind of gives me a guideline of what we're looking at looks to me like the 50s crossing up giving it momentum we've the last four months we've went from a low of 30 cents all the way up here to six dollars with a high of around 686 base and I could see that with we tried to do that up here a couple times with a year high of 769 so I'm gonna bust this down and I've noticed that we've got a momentum stock here we've been kinda of playing in a channel we're right at that pivot point right now in that channel here around 590 to 610 and then so we're gonna see if we can get another breakout on it we're gonna keep it on watch it's bullish let's look at the daily right now we had a real nice breakout from 528 all the way up to 598 so I'm going to keep this on watch the tape watch the level 2 and this is TRPX and we got another one we're going to talk about and it is Zynga 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 so Zynga is a really great uh, social game developer they do social video games and you know this company started up in 2007 
They're in San Francisco, California. They do all kinds of games for mobile devices, for your uh, smartphone, for Google system and Apple. And they also do a lot of games on Facebook. So their mission statement is to connect the world through gaming. So uh, this company, what I did notice is a lot of block buys on this and also some sells as well. And this company has earnings tomorrow. So after hours. So I think you guys should be watching this stock. Um, people are swing trading it. Some people are not because they don't want to hold it through earnings. Again, it's after hours tomorrow. But the rumor out there has been for quite some time, actually, that there could be a future merger acquisition uh, with this company. So I don't know. I mean, they have a partnership already with, I think, uh, Hasbro. And um, who knows what comes down the pipes in the future with a partnership. But there is this rumor. So just keep that in mind. And I'll let Jim talk about the ZNGA chart. Okay, Zynga. Here's a year's chart, and I'm looking at it. I see we had a very big sell-off yesterday on it. So yesterday or today, it kind of gained some strength and pulled back to support. So I'm looking here at the year's chart, and I'm kind of finding me a pivot point area right around a little under four dollars, three nine, three ninety-three. So we're at three sixty-seven. That's what we closed at. Let's pull up a twenty-day, and you get a whole different outlook. We had a high of 450, somewhere resting around 441, then pulling back to right about this area of 432. And then here we are, we hit a bottom of that 20 day period at 355 this morning, bounced up 376. So they could have a nice little scalper play on the way back up on this stock. I'm going to look at it as the daily. Same as the daily, I see a couple opportunities in here for scalping. Also, we're going to write it up and just see how she goes. This is Zynga. Keep it on watch. The volume's there. And then we got one more to talk about, and that's LMFA. Yes. So this one here is... And uh, the reason I like this one is... Um... The fact that the offering is out of the way and the offering price was 240 And uh, this is really being played on a reversal perspective. So I think you can expect to see that the stock has an opportunity here to reverse back uh, towards at least 225 to 230 and probably even 240 So if you're not in this one, you may want to keep it on your watch list to look for a trade on it tomorrow. And uh, see where it goes. But that's kind of my target on this stock. And um, keep it on watch. Not it on your list. And Jim can talk about what he sees. Jim, yeah, the, over to you. This is one that I'd have to say, see where it goes exactly. Because I'm looking at it, and I've never seen a chart like this in my lifetime. So I'm sitting here looking at a year's chart. And we had a pullback right here, or, or however this happened, we had a pullback right here to the middle from the last support area to, that, to the resistance. So I'm just kind of looking at a really freaky looked out chart. So I really want to put LMFA on watch tomorrow. We're at 198. Let's see what we look at when we look at something a little bit different here. We'd probably give a better picture. So we had a, we did have the split or it ran up all the way up here to about 650. I'd say a base of a candle. It's pulled back to around 208. So we're down a good couple hundred percent right there. So I'm going to keep LMFA on watch. I'm just kind of puzzled about the year's chart right now. And, and I'm just going to keep it on watch and see what, let this trade come to me and see if I can get something out of it tomorrow. LMFA, I guess. Great. And uh, just not to talk about other tickers, but I do want to just mention, too, that um, I think you guys should also have your energy stocks on a watch list and all your energy tickers should be on watch. I think the energy sector is going to start waking up. So tickers like J-O-N-E, C-E-I, 
Um, those should really be on your watch list. So if you don't have an energy uh, watch list, you should definitely have one. And uh, if not, uh, mention it on our video that you're interested in one. And I can look to post one. So keep it on watch energy place as well. And that's all for tonight. So I think uh, it's been a tough week. Uh, a lot of people just scalping. Some people sitting in cash, which is a position. And uh, some people not even taking swing trades. They're just trading what comes their way. And some people are not even trading. They're just taking a break and saving their capital for the times when the markets will be stronger and more follow through on volume. So I think that's nothing wrong with doing that. I think it's um, don't feel pressured that, oh, everyone trading and I'm not trading. doesn't matter what someone else is doing. You're not competing with any. So just preserve your capital for when the time's right. Not every trade has follow through. We're noticing a lot of action pre-market, but no follow through in the daytime. So caution, right? You're going to need that money when the good setups do show up and they will show up. Mark our words. So on that note, I wish everyone an amazing night. Trade green, be positive, and uh, we'll get through this. And the markets will turn around. So not to worry. Any last words from you, Mr. Jim? No, the, I noticed that the Dow Jones closed up 431 points today. So that that's a beautiful little rebound for that. And the SPY, it's up to... 267.77 so let's have a good day tomorrow let's keep it fresh keep it simple keep an eye on lmfa i'm really going to see i've got a bit puzzled about this stock right now so i can't wait to see what what it does tomorrow <laughs> watch what it does tomorrow just like what yours <laughs> exactly um, so we'll see what we'll see what that does yeah yep so this is the aftermarket report with vegas and jim October 30th, 2018. And I love stocks, and we all love stocks. I love stocks, and I love all the followers. Please like and subscribe. Have a great night.